Hi there, thanks for tuning in and watching the video. Here we've got a Dynamite 3000 CNC turning center. This does include a manual. Uh, as you can see, there's an air cylinder on the door here. So it's equipped with the air cylinder, however, it is not hooked up in the back. Uh, there is a solenoid, and if you so desire, you can hook that up. I'm not the main guy that ran this machine, but I will do my best to, to go over the unit and show that it, it is functional. So here we're going to fire the machine up. What else do we have on this control panel? A door open indicator light. That is functional. Uh, let's see. Local program would be on the control pad. Program would be hooked up via computer. Coolant on off. Bar feeder on off. Light. Emergency switch. Let's make sure the light works. I'm going to open the door here. We've got a spindle on off. And currently is set to on. I'll start playing with the speed dial right here. It's got an adjustment range on this controller from 0 to 9 and then on the control pad you can actually set exact RPMs that you're looking for. But uh, nice and smooth, quiet, and that's on setting 9 right there. I'll turn this off. This turning center does have a coolant line. It also has oilers going to both the Z and the X. It's got a five position tool changer right here. Uh, what else do we have? It's got the uh, uh, live center. Over here we've got, this is gonna be your RS-232, a probe connector, a sink input output, hookup for the bar feeder, and a plug-in for your coolant pump. Now let's get back up to this controller. It's asking me if I'm ready. Probably not, but I'll give it a shot. Yes, I'm ready. So here we go, it's initializing. Looks like it's adjusting for the backlash. Locked a tool in place. Now it's asking me a mode. So, uh, Bear with me here. Oh, I gotta be in manual. So I'm in manual, it's asking me for inches. Yes. Now it's showing me uh, feed rates. So I'll go to next. That's the Z feed rate. Tool calibration, I'm gonna say no. Manual move, yes. Tool one. How about let's try tool well, let's try tool one. Tool change. Tool five. There we go, tool changer works. Just locked it in place. Okay. Now this is my X. I'm gonna try to jog this. X works great, let's try Z. I'm gonna go up here, hit Z, move left, oops. There we go. So you got remote speed override here too. I didn't play around with that, but I think uh, you can figure that out. Uh, it's got a door switch here. Arm catches that. Door open, on off. That's gonna be if you have that, uh, that air cylinder hooked up to the door. And I think that's about it. We'll come around to this side. Oh yeah, it does have a one inch through uh, spindle. Pretty nice, you can get uh, some pretty thick stock in there. It's got an oiler container reservoir here. Uh, that's about it in this 
cabinet. And then in the back, is all the electronics, transformers, driver boards. So overall, excellent condition. Nice machine, fully functional. Uh, includes the manual, so if you have any questions, you got something to fall back on. And I do believe uh, Dynamectronics is still around, so if you need some limited support, they're more than willing to help you. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot an email. Thank you.